Well, I started working with my brother's company back in 1999, and in about 2003, dissolved his company, and I started on my own. We were pregnant with our first child. We had already bought our second house, so a mortgage and a lot of responsibilities, and so we elected to start Evergreen. And I was good at running pipe, so that's the direction I went is chase gas piping, and um, for years we did that, and I'd work night and day, seven days a week, pay our mortgage, and. Um, Hope that we can get this thing off the ground and she had her own job which saved us many many times. The recession hit and Bill said it, you know left and right companies are closing and going to work in other industries if we can just hang in there then when the economy comes back then you know we'll be ready for it and it, that was the point where I think that when it actually did start to turn around and we saw oh my goodness there's all this work wow this is the time that we really take advantage of our already established reputation I mean that's when we ended up rebranding the company and, uh, and adding really the whole HVAC side of it and service department. We were established as far as like hearth and gas lines, but we weren't as established on the HVAC side. So for us, we needed people to believe in us and that we're willing to work with us and help us to grow and meet goals. And Revco was really willing to do that. The tech support, the um, availability of product and always being there for us was huge. So for the brand, you know, it was really important to have some type of a logo, something that people could recognize and think of us. Kind of what we call the EG Bug is how that was created. We actually had a design contest with some local designers. I think we paid $200 for the contest and to get rights to it. It was a really fun thing. Um, but we had gone from our linear tree design to this and, and really the point of it was to create something that people could recognize. Um, and no matter how we grew or which direction we grew, that we could take it with us. People were asking for it, people were asking to buy it, and so it really just was something that, that almost surprised us a little bit, that it, that it was even cooler than we thought it was. Bill and I have never cared about being the biggest company in Oregon. We've only cared about being the best at what we do, and that's from the product lines to the customer service to pricing. Uh, to the showing up on time, clean cut guys. Honesty is the is the key, you know, just provide a service, follow through, do what you say you're gonna do. Uh, that's the standard that's here. You just treat people how you wanna be treated and it goes a long ways. When you talk about like adapting and what it's taken to get from the home base shop in Northeast Portland to a commercial space, in Sherwood, 16, 17 years down the line, you know, there's a lot of changes of that plan that had to take place for that to happen. Uh, a lot of stepping out of our comfort zones. It's uh, an evolution, is more of what I call it. It's not a race. And we're not done with that. You know, we're still looking at ways to do it better. 